Thanks everybody for coming. Um, we just completed roll call. All right, the minutes. All board members have been provided with a copy of the minutes of the last meeting. A motion will be entertained to approve and accept the minutes of the regular meeting of September 26, 2023, providing there are no additional solutions or corrected. I'll move. All right, Sharon. Second. Reg. Mr. Hamill? Yes. Mr. Parati? Yes. Mr. Facto? Yes. Mr. Randall? Yeah. All right, address these tonight, we have none. Communications, I got a couple. Yeah. Charter. This letter will serve as notice that on or around October 31st of 2023, Spectrum Northeast LLC Spectrum will add the following New York Regional Sports Networks, RSN, to Spectrum TV Choice. Uh, Madison Square Garden Sports Net and Yankee Entertainment and Sports. Also uh, received this from New York State Department of Transportation. And I won't bore you to read this whole thing, but uh, we do have a resolution um, to take care of this tonight. New York State uh, Department of Transportation is committed to assisting our municipal partners in responding to emergencies that affect the transportation system. In this in instance, a local highway system is impacted by an event. New York State Department of Transportation forces can normally offer assistance with a government emergency declaration has been made. In the absence of the government, gov excuse me, governor's emergency declaration and or suspension of highway law 55, New York State DOT forces can assist municipalities with issues on local highway systems if a shared service agreement has been entertained, entered into between the municipality and New York State. By executing an agreement beforehand, emergency need, <coughs> needs on your highway system can be addressed without having to wait for paperwork to be processed or emergency declaration to be enacted. And it goes on and on, on but that's the heart of it. So basically what this is, is we've had one of these in place for a number of years the um, uh, agreement, the present agreement, will be up 28th, January 28th, I think, of this year, mm -hmm. um, if I remember correctly. So we will have a motion, or excuse me, a resolution tonight that hopefully gets passed with a motion in a second and uh, a positive vote from the rest of this board that uh, this service agreement will stay in effect through uh, 2027. That's communications and petitions. <clears throat> All right, so um, we have received the monthly reports from everybody here. Um, <coughs> I get a motion to file the monthly report. Motion. By Mike. Second. Second by Sharon. Mr. Hamill? Yes. Mr. Parati? Yes. Mr. Facto? Yes. Mr. Randall? Yes. Okay, receipts. Um, town clerk. $724, Mesa Lane Water, $2,182.27, Morrisonville Water, $11,602.85, Woods Mills Water, $5,907.87, uh, Justice Barber, $1,423, and Justice Van Ortwick, $1,665. So uh, that completes the cash receipt. Can I get a motion to accept? Motion. 
by Mike. Second. By Reg. Mr. Hamill? Yes. Mr. Parati? Yes. Mr. Facto? Yes. Mr. Randall? Yes. All right, so we also need a motion uh, to uh, file the planning board, you know, the meeting of the planning board of 9 5 of 23. I'll make that motion. Second. File a motion by Sherm. It was seconded by Mr. Parati. Mm -hmm. Mr. Hamill? Yes. Mr. Karate? Yes. Mr. Facto? Yes. Mr. Randall? Yes. No zoning board. Uh, we can bypass that one. Uh, Department of Reports. Um, Councilman. I had just one call, Howard, regarding. Uh, a property on Salmon River Road. <laughs> I gave them your number and uh, told them to give you a call. I don't know if they did or not, but. 468? I got the number. I don't remember. Is that right near Carter Court? 460, is it? 460, maybe? Yeah. That's where I'm here. Yeah. That's right. Okay. <laughs> See, I'm done. <laughs> <totally different. laughs> I've been there for 25 years. People, I know the circumstances. I went through a bill account. Bill didn't do anything. People in Vermont own it. He said he sent certified letters, this, that, and the other thing. Nothing's being done. The barn was tore down seven years ago. It's still there. There's more garbage there than the landfill. I had rats in my yard. I took pictures of them, gave them the bill. Still nothing done. That's why I'm here. I want something done. If he's a new go enforcement officer, Maybe he can do something, but why not let all you guys know? I did there 25 years and I've been looking at that for 25 years. I'm full. It's a dump. I mean, Greg knows where it is. I'm pretty sure anybody goes down Sam River Road, you can't miss it. You go by Carter Court, I live right on the corner. The big yellow barn house, a duplex. Been there for as long as I've been there. It's a dump. Yeah. And they don't pick it up. The grass is that high, they don't mow it. I mean, I have one behind my house. The old smart place, but Bev at least mows in my neighbor and keeps it picked up. That place is a dump. I'd like something done. All right, so that address is 668. Four, four, six, oh. four, <laughs> four, <laughs> four, <laughs> 460. 460. Yeah, I was going to say, how it? I, I will say, I, I said, I'm sure Howard is right on top of this. Well, because I, I, I'm just telling you, sure. Yeah. I've been going round and round with Bill Account for the last three, four years. And nothing's yeah. getting done. I know he's not here anymore, yeah. but I'm not giving up. I'll be here every month until something's done. Yeah. I'm full. Yeah. We agree. We're not disagreeing with no, you. No, I'm just saying. I'll, I mean, how are you? I've been pretty patient. So we'll, I'm sure, take care of it. I mean, it's going to be kind of hard. I understand the circumstances because supposedly the people in Vermont own it. I tried to buy it. They went sell. Oh, that's a money maker. I was a money maker when squatters sit there and they don't pay the rent. I don't know how they get the power turned on. The weather has land right on the roof. Hmm. I mean, they live in well, yeah, that's, again, I don't want to speak for Howard. Is he, no, I, I don't want to bash Howard here because I don't know Howard. I right. talked to Bill three, four times about this. Right. And I might as well talk to <coughs> the dad. <coughs> Just like talking to yeah. nobody. I mean, not to go out too far on one, but. I mean, if somebody's living there and... There's nobody living there. Oh, okay. I thought you said there were squatters there. Well, no, <laughs> they, they finally got rid of them. Right. I don't know, probably... Has five, it been a year? No. Vacant? No, no, not a year. Not a year. Okay. This summer, because I went and talked to this guy. I said, bud, you got rats. He said, you drag your ass in your own land. He said, I know I got rats. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> 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 I ain't kidding you, Mike. I was... Oh. Well, <laughs> No, I know that Howard. I mean, I don't think any of you people here, anybody in here, should have to put up with that shit yeah. next door to their house. No, I really did. And that's why Twenty-five years of it, I had enough. No. So, again, I don't want to speak for Howard. I didn't. I didn't yeah. call. I didn't call. Yeah. Well, somebody did. I didn't call. <laughs> oh, okay. But I'm not the only one. That's why I mean, yeah. there's not just me complaining. And nothing being done, so I 
Yeah. I said, I'll come down and I'll talk to yeah, the board about it, see if we can get something done. I mean, I get I get multiples, don't get me wrong. And I was writing down, and I was giving the vote for us with an officer because it's his job, and I can't go out there. And do right. It. No, I, I understand kind of what you're saying. Yeah. But you so, know what I'm saying. No, I, I agree with you. The, the other one that was in the office. I've made it a point shit. over the last three years to clean this job. Well, I hope so, Mike. Because like I said, I'm not giving up for something. Then you shouldn't. Well, you shouldn't have to. Well, not for not after 25 say, years, yeah, Kevin. Well, yeah. You should be able. You should be able to do that that those things are taken care of. I mean, they, they told them, I don't know, maybe Bill told them one time to clean up. They went over and put a couple of dumpsters in there and threw the garbage that they had in the lean-to out back full to the front. They threw that in there and just left all the wood and all the other junk there. He'll take care of it. Huh? If not, I'm sure I'll get a phone call. Well, if not, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next month. Yeah, I'm not getting you. I'll be no, back. No, I understand. That's all I had. All right. Okay, Sherm, I know you're on the water committee, so I'll direct this question to you. Um, I've been around and a lot of people are asking about, come the first of the year, Morrisonville Water District, the residents, are they gonna have a new extra water tax assessment to pay? I'm assuming that somebody will have a, there will be, a, um, there's got to be. <clears throat> we're, we're in the process of getting this, this project off the ground and such, so uh, I know the water clerk is working on it, but I don't think we've set a rate at it. Correct. He's working on it. Mm -hmm. Kevin's working on it. It's, it, it. We're looking at it because there is. I mean, we've already got our. We've got engineering costs and other costs uh, related with it as we move forward to get this this project off the ground. So. I know you asked, Sean. Do you want me to sure. expand upon that a little? Go ahead. Bit? Comment. Okay. Sure. So, yes. This whole this whole board, including Mr. Bracto, voted to take out the ban. Okay, the ban is basically a loan. All right, because in order to receive the grant monies that we have gotten over the last say, three and a half years, okay, or three years. All right. Um, in order to get that grant money, you first have to make the expenditures, okay? So it's not like they give you the grant money, put it in your account, and then they wait for you to spend it on what you believe you need to spend it on. You actually, there's a, a, a criteria list that's longer and longer in my arm that, you know, they can, we can spend <coughs> each specific grant money on, whether it's USDARD or CDBG or, the uh, congressional funding. So um, every project has to have a bank. So basically that's what the, the band is, okay, it is pretty much a, a loan, it's a bond, it's a loan, it's a guaranteed loan so that we can start moving forward with the project. As we make expenditures out of that, that's when the grant money comes back in and replaces the money that is in the band. Is there going to be an expense to that? Absolutely. Okay. Um, you can't borrow money for free. All right. So we ended up because of the, the, the good credit rating that we, we have had and by the project, they look at the project outlook. How much granting you have, how far is it along, what's the risk, right? Just like any bank does before they do a mortgage or anything else. So we ended up getting a interest rate of 4.5% uh, or 4.4%. 4 .4%. I don't have it right in front of me, but it was just a hair of 4%. And the interest rates, you know, you all know, went from like the prime <laughs> lending at zero, like at pretty much 1%. So you could usually get a loan uh, recently as a government loan at about one to 4%. We locked in the um, USDARD um, loan at the end at 1.75 percent. 
you're never going to see that again in your lifetime. So I don't believe I'll see it ever in my lifetime. Okay, uh, because the interest rate just keeps on going up at the prime because they're trying to stop inflation. So what it boils down to is the ban will mature in April of next year. All right. At that point in time, there will be an in interest um, that is due. Okay. And that's going to be about seventy-three thousand. All right. We can do one of two things. We can add on a as a as a special tax because that's what like Macy Lane, what they have for what they have bonded when they did the last water project there. You can add on a special tax to pay that bond. Or excuse me, that band when the interest rate is due. It's going to renew and roll back over. All right. You use the same one. All the process is all in place now. So that'll renew in, in next April. And that will continue to fund the project till it's end. All right. Some of the monies like uh, USDARD, I think, is 74 or 75 percent completion before they would put their 1.3 million into it. Okay, it towards the closing at the end. CDBG is, is, you can use their money as long as it affects everybody. Because one of the things I'd ask, I said, can we, we start the phase one? The phase one was part of 22B and on that particular project uh, was 22B and River Street, because River Street is our issue, right? It freezes. If, if we don't run water at the end of that, at the, the, during the winter, it freezes, right? It, that problem went away when we had Ladue Street full and all those homes were at the end of it. But after the last flood and the FEMA buyout with only three or four homes down in that area, there was no longer the flow that used to keep that from freezing. So it needs to be addressed. And the biggest issue was right by the old Jackie's Club or Fuzzy Duck where they hit ledge and it's not buried as deep as it should be. Um, again, continuing with the project, Next April, they will go ahead and renew that ban, okay? And that will continue to fund that project as we get the, the project uh, paid for, or we spend, I shouldn't say paid for, but as we get the project moving and there's more expenditures, then we can start collecting those monies from, like I said, CDBG and USDA already. Uh, one of the things that helped is that we had the two previous grants with USDA, RD, and CDBG. Uh, I thought it was going to be a nightmare getting the, the money originally from the feds. That was the $2,562,500 that I had approached uh, at least upon it on. It got picked up by uh, Jill, uh, Kristen Gillenbrandt and uh, Chuck Schumer. And it went and hit the house of the bipartisan bill. They made it through the House, they made it through the Senate, they made it through the House Ways and Means Committee, the House Appropriations Committee, and it was signed by Biden. So that money is coming our way. My, my, my worry was how long is it going to take to get here? Okay. So now that we've been working through that process, also me, for the last eight or nine months, um, they're accepting almost all the paperwork that we had like the, shop, the chapel, the seeker, the uh, uh, income studies, all those things that the, the historical preservation is chapel, uh, the, the flyovers with the LIDAR. You got to remember when you're doing a project of this size, it doesn't happen overnight. And it takes tons of diligence to, to keep it moving forward. Because even though you get a grant, she can tell you. Uh, she could tell you over there how much I push on them to say, hey, I need this done, I need this done, I need this done. Okay, because the paperwork never stops. It just keeps coming. All right. But to answer your question, uh, it's in the process. We're looking to bid that out um, this spring as the phase one part. Okay. Um, and yes, there will be either a, a special tax on the Marshville Water District, because it's a special district, we can't charge everybody in the town. You can only charge the people that receive the service. 
So the people that would pay for it would be the people in the North Water District because that's who it's affected. Okay. Or you could take uh, seventy-three thousand or seventy-two thousand, whatever it is. It's, it's just a hair on a seventy-three, um, and you can pay it all out of the unallocated fund reserves that are built up in the Marshall Water District, and therefore you wouldn't have an increase to the tax. All right, because that's money that the Marshall Water District has built up in an account that's not allocated. It's like money in the bank in case there was a problem with a break of a line. Or that's that's the other thing you do with unallocated accounts. You, you put them in for a specific reason and then you use that money when that need arises. Okay? You gotta remember the system was put in between 1953 and 1956. It was supposed to last about it's life expectancy is supposed to be about 75 to 100 years. Or 2024 almost. It's already, you know, either exceeded, parts of it have already exceeded as of 2023, has exceeded its life expectancy, or surpassed it. If we wait until what happened with the town of Plattsburgh, or the city of Plattsburgh, I should say, uh, it's old asbestos transient pipe so when it starts breaking it just continues to break all right and they ended up paying for that project without anything but a bond and a ban they had no grant money that was set up and, 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 and to help with that project because it was an emergency expenditure we had to do it right now to get water people have to have water you can't just Shut them off, right? So, by getting in front of this and making sure that our water system is reliable, it's sustainable, and it's potable, drinkable, and clean, that's what the job of the town is to do. Yeah, we don't want to <coughs> raise taxes to anybody. I guarantee you that. You want to preside, provide services for those people. And you can only provide the services that they can afford. Okay, so that's why I've worked the last three and a half years to get this thing about eighty percent funded. That's a tough act, all right. And this board is backed me all the way through, for the most part. So, um, yeah, we could not raise taxes and take it out of the general fund, or excuse me, the unallocated fund reserve. But that's a question that the board will have to make at that time, and they can even talk to the residents and see. My suggestion was half and half. Take 40000 and add it to the, the tax rolls for the 2024 as a special, special tax, and then the other half take out of the unallocated fund money. That, if you do that for the next couple of years, you'll know exactly what uh, the extra amount will be. Right now we're looking at an increase if everything stays the way it is uh, for a brand new water system to about $300 a year. Okay. That's what the best estimates are right now. That's an 8 point something, 8.2, 8.4 million dollar water system. Um, I've been working with the county on uh, now talk too much about this because it would get we could go on forever and, and but uh I'll, I'll say this much i've been working on with the county on the sand row project for over a year and a half now um that that project is slated to break ground in the spring okay um we ended up getting a five million dollar grant to do that one 100 percent funded uh, that's because of uh, the PFOAs and PFOS issues that are uh, contaminating the wells up there. And uh, after about a two-year study from New York State DEC and New York State Health Department, they started back in January of 20. That's how long I've been working on water and infrastructure. Um, <coughs> they seen the writing on the wall and said, okay, we'll just go ahead and say that it's coming from the county landfill or the old county landfill. So it's a 
Uh, originally, Casella and uh, the county were going to go in together, take about half a million dollars of their own money to help start that. Now with the, the uh, five million dollar WIA grant, it's, they're not going to need to at all. It's all going to be 100% funded. So that's also from the bridge to the sand road to get that water up there. I negotiated with them that they would take that part out of the Marshall Water District. So that's probably going to save that project uh, about a million dollars. So, uh, yeah, um, we do the best we can. I've been working hard. This whole board has to make sure that it's a, as affordable as it can be. All right, nothing's for free. It's whether you want to invest in having sustainable, clean, reliable water. Right. What, what's the status on, on Rixenab water? Rixenab, I dropped off, I think I told you that, I dropped off a, um, Yes. Preliminary um, letter to uh, Mr. Trombley. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard a response back. Um, I'm not sure where he's at with his projects and when he could start that. Um, I can't go forward with that unless I know he's still willing to uh, do the, the labor in exchange for putting the pipe in. Right, so, so how long is it supposed to take him to let you know? <coughs> Well, I don't, I don't tell him what to do. Yeah. Year after? Yeah. No, I know you're frustrated. I'm yep. so frustrated and it I isn't know. even funny. I know. Because we keep, everywhere I go, they keep telling me, you're mm -hmm. not going to get water. You're not going to get water. And Mr. Facto is one of those that spreads that. Right. Well, the, so Rich, don't tell me you didn't because I can bring witnesses here. Well, I don't want to get into it. Well, well no, because you know you're... No, but listen. I'm the person who stepped forward on Rickson Avenue originally. Then all of a sudden there was changes made, Charlotte, to add the Trombley subdivision into it. And I was opposed to that. I've never been opposed to Rickson Avenue only. Why would we you could be, use, why we could you use be opposed ARPA to funding. That we, water's no better than mine. No, no. We have ARPA funding available for Rickson Avenue. Right. That's and, and, and I'll beg to differ with Mr. Facto on that because you know that I spoke with you way before he jumped on this wagon. How long have I been fine. fighting for he water for He can claim whatever he wants to claim. But I, a long I, time. Well, look at and what contaminated our wells to begin with? My well especially. Right. And, I can bring papers down that right. pit. So, that tells me I don't even dig a shower in the water because it's so contaminated. So it'll this, kill you. The pseudomonas. So. But what in the hell am I supposed to do? So if what I'm telling you is, and I apologize that these things take so long, okay? The engineering is complete. And I know you've been working hard on it, Kevin. I'm not yeah. saying that. You worked very hard on it. I know. But well, you know what? Enough, enough is enough. I'm hauling water from the spring and gave you bill. I know. I know. Jesus Christ, I'm 82 years old. What do you want? I absolutely understand what you're saying. I, I can't I can't sit there and say that I I know what you're going through because I don't live there. Well, contaminated the well to begin yeah. with. Nobody's ever investigated that. Well, look, look what I got living in next to me that's been there for years and years. And when Rickson was there, he put those barrels from the air base in the ground. How do you know those things didn't seep out and seep and, and ruin our wells? Right, all right. Bullshit, look what happened in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. No, no? And, and the simplest solution is to give you water off of the Marshall water system, okay? So, you know, something, that, something's wrong with the picture. I, I got a water line 50 feet, public water line 50 feet in front of me and one 50 feet to the west of me, and I hear I'm begging for water. Mm -hmm. Something's wrong with that picture. Right, and, and again, the water district lines unfortunately okay for the boundaries of the Marshall water district does not include that side of Rickson I think uh, if I remember I think I, I explained it the way th the previous board left that out because they didn't want the residents of Rickson Ave who were not hooked to the water system to have to pay the O&M charges and cost of them running up the system because once Charlotte, once we put you in that that Marshall Water District, even if you don't have a water line going through your I, house, I understand what you, you're talking about. You would about. see on your taxes I that you would that. have the alarm rate 
Okay. Right. But the I'd like to know the... what happened to the water district. <coughs> you know, I've lived in this town all my life. All right. I'd like to know what happened to the water district that ended at the old railroad tracks when I was, was growing up. What happened to that? Because I went and looked right. at the maps, and it did end at the old railroad tracks. All right. What happened to it? Yeah, and it does on that right-hand side of the road. I don't know what it used to be, because I don't. I don't. I really can't. I, yeah, I, I can only I tell you. I can only tell you what I, I have it for maps in front of me right now, and the way it is set up now. So, you you guys are slated to be set up for out of district users, right? Only for one reason, okay? Because if we change anything in the big eight million dollar project, it. They, we, we can actually lose the grants that we have now. If we expand the district now, in the middle of a, a, a project, when we've already said, okay, the USDARD and CDBG and, and, and the, the feds, you know, the Congress on the congressional funding, that now we're gonna do X, Y, Z, and we're gonna encompass these people into it. We could lose our funding because we're changing up what we originally gave them, okay? So, the, the, the only way we can do it right now is to do it as out of district users, so which means everybody up there will sign an out of district user. And in that agreement, it does say that when possible, you will be um, incorporated into the Morsel Water District, which may be two years from now, okay, before. Not, oh, not, not, not for a while. <laughs> Bear with I'll me. Be in my grave. Not, yeah. I don't have to worry about it that long. Not, not for water, but I mean until the boundary lines include you in it, and then it'll go. You'll get a regular, you get a regular bill anyways. And instead of being out of district user, you will be an in district user at that point in time. But, uh, but nobody's uh, ever investigated why our wells got contaminated. Right. Why? Uh, yeah. I can, I can oh, tell where you. did the contamination come from? Well, nobody wants to bother looking to find out where it came from. Mm -hmm. You know, but, but keep giving that 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 junk shit in the yard in my in my backyard. Keep giving them a permit to operate. Keep pouring the goddamn stuff in the ground. I went back there and I looked at what's back there. <laughs> it's disgusting. He talks about his rats. Well, let him come up and look at the big oil pits in the back where side of my at, house. Are you at by Earth's waste? Huh? Is she by Earth's waste? Yeah. Right. Uh huh. That, again, yeah. that's regulated. You're right. It's regulated by DEC and it's regulated by the town. Yeah, DEC ain't worth a shit to burn to hell. I've had business with DEC. You're not telling me about DEC. You've on my side. I like yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> No, oh, no, I own so, the laundromat in this goddamn town too, and I had I remember. I dealt with DEC. Don't talk DEC to me. No, I'm just saying it, it is regulated by both. It's regulated by the town and by DEC. Not the and, permits. Yeah. That's bullshit. <coughs> Why would it be reg regulated by DEC for a permit? DEC. The town is the one that's got to issue it. Well, they they actually issued. Uh, DC yeah. has to issue them yeah. a permit. What, what's it all about, Kevin? This. Well, I agree. I agree. Uh -huh. But they it's still, the they still, right it is. They, they still are supposed to be following the proper not stupid. procedures. That was a war yesterday. And if they're not, then there is something we can do. If you're saying they're not, yeah. don't do it. No. Nobody, nobody ever does nothing about it, though. Well, the town issued a permit to them here months, <laughs> two months ago yeah. to operate. That's so. what I'm trying to tell you. The town did. The town did. Right. So, so I said, they're regulated by both. Yeah, but the TEC is not the one to write the permit. They still do. Yeah, it's just like a mining permit or any of those. They still, yeah, DEC. Right. Okay. Matter of fact, that. That's all right. You know, I, I really, I really kind of believe I'm coming down here tonight because, you know, every time I come, I waste my goddamn breath. You know, I've got no place, nowhere, nothing. I'm still waiting three years from now. I'm still waiting for water. Well, you know, it's freaking bullshit. There it is. I, I'm, I'm sick of it. I've had it right up to here. The only one that's done anything about it's you. Because nobody else gives a shit. They all got good drinking potable water. And not me, because I got to haul my water from the spring in Katie Bell. Right. Well, I'm not done yet. <laughs> so, well, like I said, I'm still plugging away at it. I know you are, Kevin, and I'm not blaming you. You can't do it alone.
Mm-hmm. Now, could I continue with, sure. with just a question someone asked me, I'm trying to get an answer on it. Mm-hmm. Okay. A couple of months ago, we discussed <coughs> as a board either going with an ad valorem rate, which they have now, or switching the users to the EDU rate. And we were supposed to have a work session to decide that. And as of now, we have it. And you're getting ready to leave pretty soon. So I'd like to know, people would like to know, are they gonna keep paying ad valorem? Or are, are we switching to EDU? Right, so the, the, next the people one's... need to know this and they should be able to find out. Well, it's gonna be up to the board to decide what they wanna do. Um, I don't make that decision. Whether I'm here or not, one person on this board doesn't make that decision. The whole board decides whether they want to go with ad alarm rate, or stay, excuse me, stay with an ad alarm rate, or go to an EDU rate, okay? Um, most new systems are done by EDU. We aren't sitting on our hands, okay? Um, we have contacted the town of Blasper, Donna's been working with Val down there. I've been talking with them. Um, the system, their system will support uh, the EDU billing, okay? So it's not like we're just, you know, throwing our hands up in the air and say, hey, whatever happens, happens, all right? And there's a lot of work that is being done behind the scenes. Um, but the next water rates are March. Well, can I just mention something? We thought the EDUs could be billed on the water bills, but now we found out that they have to be on the taxes. So the EDUs will not be a quarterly rate. Right. It's got to all be on the taxes. Right. Which they are right now. I, on the Avalarm. It's just an Avalarm, which the Aval. Does everybody understand the Avalarm, right? No? Okay, so the, the Avalarm rate is <coughs> based upon what your, ta- your house is worth, okay? So if you have a $500,000 house, your portion of the operation and maintenance cost of the Morseville Water District, if you're in the Morseville Water District, or the Woods Mills Water District, or the Macy Lane Water District, or whatever you're in, is based upon what your house is worth, okay? and then you get charged a portion of whatever that split is, whatever the, the operation and maintenance of the system, okay, that we pay the town of Plattsburgh for. Um, uh, we just got those rates in, we're working on them now, but, and then your, your second bill is your metered rate, okay, if you're in Mesa Lane or um, Woods Mills, you're on meters. The Morrisonville Water District has meters, but they're not used, okay? Because I, I can't charge people two different rates. And there is no way that I can figure out how much water four or five houses on River Street are pouring in the back of their yard, okay, to keep that line from freezing. It's been for years, too. I was born and brought up on River Street. I remember when the water right. went in. Right. The only time it went away, and you're right, Charlotte, the only time it went away is when we had all those homes down yeah. on the do because they were pulling enough water that it didn't freeze. But I can remember as a kid, Donald Rabbit going out there with a welder to <laughs> on thaw the line in between or to thaw the line out, you know, where it was coming into people's homes. We've been running that water for so, years, Kevin, years. <laughs> the only way we can actually fix that is to fix it. Replace it. Yeah. It needs to be done. Uh, they hit ledge there. That's like right. I said, it they was did. put in in 1953, 1956. They they did the best they could to make it go over there. It's one one bad section there. That we can do two different ways. Whatever's cheaper, we can do it either by an insulated pipe, if that's cheaper for the amount of square footage that we need to get, um, or linear footage that we need to get by that bad area, or we can blast it or they can put a needle on a excavator and bang it out of there until we get down far enough to get it buried so it doesn't freeze. But either way, it, what's going on right now is until we can 
get the, the construction part of the phase of this project going, then I, I do apologize to you and everybody that it takes this long. But it's government, and it's not just me. It's not just this board. It takes years to get these big projects, like I said, funded, approved, and then once you get them uh, engineering approved, then they got to go to make sure that, you know, on the historic thing, uh, the historical side of things, that, you know, we don't run into like Pike's Encampment, which stopped ever since on the other side of the old air base when they found it down there for two and a half years. Well, you know, the funny you part know? of it is, 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 yeah, it takes money, takes money, takes money to do all this goddamn stuff, but they don't, you know, my well's no good, my water's no good. So what the hell good is my property? I couldn't sell it even if I tried. And I know it's probably not worth a hell of a lot, but to me mm -hmm. it's my home. Right. And, you know, but they don't stop taxing me on it, though, do they? They keep sending me the tax bill. Yep. And I can't tell. I haven't got good water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they nope. stop that, do they? No. Nope. No, you damn near Unfortunately, won't work, no. everybody pays taxes. Every, every one of us on that goddamn street. Mm -hmm. And like I said, um, you're, you're, you're properly, hopefully, once the water line goes in up there, that'll change. And the property value should go up again. I, I know my price is probably not worth a hell of a lot, but to me, it's my home and it's worth a lot to me. It is, and that's where you live. I, I understand, Charlotte. Um, like I said, I, I can't say that I sit here and feel your frustration. I'm frustrated, but nowhere's near as bad as you are because you live there. <laughs> I'm frustrated because it takes me so long or anybody you know, so long. You're the only one that's done anything about it. That's even out of this phone. Now I'm Nobody else gave a shit. <laughs> but, uh, but like I said, um, it, it's, a, it's a work in progress and we're this close to getting a shovel on the ground next spring. Um, so, you know, I, don't, I don't know where to go from here and say that I, I did my absolute best that I can in the amount of time I've been here. So you're saying next spring, that means we're not getting it this year, this fall? You're, uh, as far as up on Ricks and Ave, uh, like I said, until I hear something from Mr. Trombley, um, when he is wound no, up, so we're getting towards the end of uh, construction season, I can tell you that. Didn't you give him a date to reply by? To re what I did was I gave him a um, form letter. It, it's, it's called a, a, a memorandum of understanding, okay? so that we're all on the same page of what is expected of him or what the town expects of him and what he's willing to provide. And until I get something back from him saying that he accepts that, then this could go another way and we could bid it out. But bidding it out is going to cost from our feasibility studies about eighty to $90,000 more. It's just because then you're paying the labor, and you're paying labor at prevailing wages. So the, the, the best outcome would be if he still is interested, like he said he was, and putting that, that line in as long as he got water to his, uh, the families, the Trombley families in the back. And then when you look at well, way off topic here, but when you look at the um, Clinton County and New York State guidelines from the health department standards, they don't like to see a dead head line. <laughs> All right, so if, if we put a T in and we put a dead end line down just for bricks and out, the homes on the end using just water for their home will not keep the chlorination and the sanitation up in the line. That's why. That's why everything is looped today. All water lines are looped. So that as the water's pulling, it's kind of like a monoflow T. So as the water's pulling by the main pipe, it's, it's moving the water in that line all the time because it's a loop system. And it also gives you better fire flow and it gives you more potential of feeding the lines off of it. Uh, you know, I'm getting way far off the, off the subject on the, sort of the engineering stuff. But yeah. But Charlotte, it, it does work to actually have that system loop and bring it to the back. 
And that's exactly what the Clinton County Health Department wanted to see, was a loop system just the way it's set up. And that's well, you know, why I'll tell you, let me just out. tell you a little story about the health department. You yeah. know how much I trust them? <laughs> <laughs> just about as far as the, that floor right there. Because you don't want to know why? They came and took samples of water from my house. Okay, they were looking for, I don't know, something. Okay? So I, have a, I had a system in my house at the time. I mean, a high-tech system, not some little dinky thing. It was a, it went through a brine system and everything to yeah, clear all the bacteria out of the water. Reverse osmosis system. Okay? Well, what did they do? They took water. He came in. Well, I can't wait. I said, you can't take it out of there, out of the faucet, because it's gone through the system. There's no bacteria in it. Oh, I can't wait for it. We'll take samples out of there. He should have gone and took samples straight from the well where he could have, mm -hmm. because there is a spigot there for him to do that. He took it out of the faucet. Well, there's nothing wrong with your water. I had to look at him and say, where are you, stupid? You're an engineer? Right. Yeah, I don't... Health department. Hey, as far as I'm concerned, that was <laughs> all Yeah. Well, again, I don't know who took your water sample from the health department. I'm sure it wasn't... Well, it was the health department that came. Was, oh, we have to have it in New York City in so many days, so many hours. Right. Oh, what? We'll take it out of there. You're not getting a true picture of it. How good was well, that? like I said, I'm working my, my okay. way through well, it the best I can. You can get back I, to your agenda, I've said my speech. <laughs> I, I, I'd like to sit here, Charlotte, and tell you, I'll have you water tomorrow morning. But I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. No, I know that. I, I will not lie to you. No, I I'll tell that. you that I'm working that. hard to get that I understand that. for you. I and I will continue to that. do that. I, I, you know, I commend you 100%. You're the only one that's done anything. Even get it this far. In over 20 years, we've been wanting it. <laughs> a long time. Can we help? I want to see a long time. The fight for water is a long yeah. time. Yeah, if you don't mind, I will. I appreciate it. I mean, it's bad when you can't even bathe in it. No, you're not even allowed to take a bath in it. This is nothing that like kills pseudomonas. No. no. No, because they said it'll make it very sick. It's into your skin, under your skin, to your system. They can, it can kill you. No, I know, you're like, not even supposed to be washing that thick on that wall. You're not even supposed to wash your clothes. Yes, yeah. I, I feel for it. I've been trying to this thing. But what are we supposed to do? <laughs> you know, where are we supposed to go yeah, and clean that's, up? That, that's you know, I have to think about it. I don't have a choice. Yep, no, I know. I don't cook in it, but I have to think about it. Right. Well, you're right. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have to worry about that. Hmm? Yeah, well, I'm waiting for the end of councilman time. I can't do anything more than that. Anything else for councilman time? Highway? Yeah, I'm here, everybody. Hey, everybody. Well, we're, um, Still working on our salt and sand, getting it ready for the winter to come. Um, I got a couple of trucks dressed up already for it. We've been still doing our shared services as far as paving. And I've got pretty much all the shimming and our repair done for the year. You know, um, we just keep plugging on. Wait, wait a game, wait, you know, wait, wait, and winter will come and we'll be ready, All hopefully. Right. Thank you, Lance. Has there been any movement on the turnaround on Ripson Avenue? No, I haven't heard a thing. That's not true. Yeah. They talked to JR, he made a turnaround about 100 feet back from the fence in the whole corner there. If the guy can't back a truck up there, I'll have to go show him how. <laughs> Thank you. But I, uh, and they come down the road, plow I one side, heard. and they leave the other. And the last two storms the time they, they don't even plow it. So the, the, the last two storms we had, it wasn't plowed. Yeah, I plowed it. I think I'm going to move over there. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Can I save you over there if I huh? move? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, we do our best. You know what I mean? You a lot of times. Yeah, that you don't. But we pay taxes to have the road plowed. I don't give a shit if you gotta back the damn town or you gotta get a snowblower and blow it off. 
we back down again. We're entitled to, to, to that road to be plowed. Well, there's an area you can turn around and come up. But back to the turnaround with the question was. Come up and you'll be shown where it is. And I know it's you can't watch your men all the time. You know, for half, most of the time they go right by and won't pull it. But we were talking about the turnaround. I That's the question. I, I haven't been approached to go down and look and see where how much how much of an area i just told you you're welcome to come up well thank you i'll uh do you have a number or anything i can call you before i go i don't yes, you know I do. just well let me we'll get together up to the garage i don't i don't want to do it during a regular meeting you know this is there's other you know, we can do it up there Thank you. I just didn't know. Otherwise, we would have been up there and got it done. A few years ago, they're plowing. They go down to the gate that's there. What happens? In the morning, I go down. My whole gate's been run over. It wasn't set. I was told that the town was going to fix it. I, uh, you know, I, I know that was before me. Uh, I don't know what the outcome was. but It still should be fixed. I, uh, we'll get to the turnaround. Like I said, it's you know, nice yeah. big out there corner, plug in the room. Perfect. <coughs> I'll, uh, I'll get with you somehow if you don't mind me showing up in the morning when I'm, okay, you know, or you come up to drive. Bring us up and we'll show you. Perfect. Thank you. Welcome. But it would still like the gate fixed. It was a, it was, it was a used gate, but there was not a thing wrong with it. I just, just from the past, from I remember that incident somewhat. I thought that was all handled years ago through the insurance company. No, nope, insurance couldn't nope. touch it. <coughs> okay. it was, you know, it was done by the state, and I couldn't get anything with insurance. Okay, well, we'll, uh, well, you know, we're just, you know, we're, we're plugging away. Things take time, like you said, it, nothing we can do about it. It's time, time, time. All right. Water, I think we pounded it out. Unless you got something on. Oh, God, I do. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Give us a refresher exactly where is it going to start and go. The lines. Excuse me, ma'am? The, the lines. Yep. Exactly where you start yet and how's it going to go? As far as the engineering on it? Yeah. The, the, the idea is to uh, push it across the, the road or underneath the road. Actually, we could probably save money if, because it's our road, if we trench cut it. Mike would end up having to repave it. But Tim and I had talked about that when we did the rest of Mason Street. Uh, that's